Furniture industry is very diversified. Furniture is not a homogenous product group. For this reason, the choice of packaging is key and it's determined by the product needs, the geographic market and the distribution type. All these aspects are important to ensure appropriate product protection. Certain furniture like assembled cabinets or sofas is a major challenge as they are bulky, heavy, irregularly shaped and often very fragile items. Others like flat pack furniture are placed on pallets in stores for customers to pick up and transport or can sometimes be delivered to the customer directly on pallets. Packaging for furniture must also be adapted to the materials used in the products. Packaging also needs to adapt to different delivery types and geographic markets. For example, packaging needs to be as light and compact as possible so that furniture can be packed and shipped to customers quickly, making room for more stock of products. The type of packaging chosen depends on the distribution channels and distances, on the number of distribution hubs and the related types of transport logistics. An optimized packaging is also more sustainable. Packaging serves to protect valuable products. Damaged furniture is a waste of valuable resources, leads to additional costs for manufacturers and increases the likelihood of returns. Optimization can also be achieved by harmonization. The furniture supply chain relies on the ability to distribute the same labeled product across several markets. This means that harmonized labeling rules are needed, for example, when it comes to sorting instructions for packaging waste for consumers across the EU. As you've seen, it's key to take into account the specificities and the needs of furniture in order to select optimal packaging. A stronger harmonization of EU rules on packaging and packaging waste, particularly labeling requirements, is also key in order to ensure efficient handling and distribution of furniture and to create a true circular economy at EU level.